Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Thursday flipping investments today on the channel because I think, again, this week, you're going to see a nice market rise because, again, we are not scared of team of the year really anymore, at least not right now when I'm watching this video or when I'm recording this video. When you are watching this video, we don't really have any information on team of the year yet. Now, of course, there's been a couple things that have come out. People are starting to whisper about team of the year and what uh, could be coming if they're going to drop a loading screen soon or if they're going to drop some sort of like voting web page or anything like that. But at least as of right now, I don't think we have to worry about that. So I think this week we can do a normal Thursday flipping investments kind of period. Now, as we have seen almost every single week, a lot of stuff hits its absolute lowest on Sunday night um, or Monday morning, which it has. And stuff has already risen since then as we head into Wednesday today. But the last couple weeks on Wednesdays, we have had some pretty big content that has caused a little bit of panic on the market. And some people are expecting that to happen again today. Now, I want to take you to the SBC that is causing this, uh, I guess, possible fear. The base or mid icon SBC uh, is expiring today on Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK. It's got 15 hours remaining. And once this goes away, some people think this is going to be replaced by another sort of icon SBC. And since this was non-repeatable, and it's if it's not a just a normal base icon upgrade, which it won't be because we already have that in the game, some people are thinking this might be a base icon player pick, which would be very interesting. And I think a lot of people would be interested in that because those player picks that people have been doing have looked pretty decent. Now, it's an option. It's a pack that is in the code already because it was part of icon swaps so it's not something that we would like see that would come out uh, or like a mid icon pack 89 plus that's already in the code so e doesn't have to add any code to make us aware of a new pack that is coming or whatever so there's like there's no um leak or it's just going to be a surprise if that does end up coming but some people are expecting that to come today so i'm not going to be buying any of my thursday flips until after 6 p.m today on uh, on Wednesday and after the team of the week comes out as well I want to take a look at a few cards right now that are in the talk right these these cards are kind of the talk of the town right now because of what happened today on the market this Joao Cancelo was 210,000 coins this morning he got bought all the way up to 230k because of the John Stones SBC he went back down to like 210 and now he's back up a little bit other players like center backs in this game right Van Dyke. there was a lot of panic selling today on Premier League center backs and center backs all around. Van Dyke is still around 200,000 coins, which is not bad since considering he was towards the 210 range earlier today. So he's down, you know, 10,000 coins or so. That's not bad. And I've been looking at center backs across the game. Across the game, you saw a little bit of a dip yesterday in some of center in some center backs. Like people were actually selling their their center back cards to go and do that new SBC for the uh for the john stones right there that Diego carlos at 195 that was basically an instinctual buy for me because i know for a fact that i'm going to be able to sell that card upwards of like 207 210,000 coins right now honestly he's up i'm basically covering my tax already i probably can list it at 10, uh, 210 and possibly get a sale there so like that's the kind of stuff we were looking at today and going forward after rewards on thursday depending on who is in the team of the week which we're going to take a prediction look right now um it doesn't look like there's a lot of premier league in this week's team of the week but i do like la liga and our normal french our normal brazilians and even some of our normal premier league cards for flips this week uh, i just think your time frame is going to be wait until after 6 p.m today on wednesday to start buying that stuff because a lot of stuff already has gone up on the market um and, you know, except for that stuff that we talked about that was um, impacted by the John Stones SBC today. I also think that some of those links to John Stones and Premier League might be good this week. We'll talk about that in a second. But this is the Footbin Team of the Week prediction. You have Gundogan as one of the only Prem players in this one. The Foothead Team of the Week prediction also has a Hyunmin Sun. Some are saying Hyunmin Sun or Harry Kane could get in because of their one goal, one assist performance last weekend against Leeds, I think it was. Uh, but we have Lukaku. Cristiano Ronaldo, though, is the big one, right? We should have a CR7 in form this week. Uh, Tierney could possibly get in. Manuel Neuer. You know, there's a lot of players that are low on the market right now because they're potentially getting another team of the week. This Donnarumma is in a couple predictions. Um, Akanji's road to the final card is being held in check. 
because of this prediction right here. And there's one card that I want to talk to you guys about that a lot of people are not buying at the moment because it's Team of the Week potential, and it's this Kimmich. This Kimmich, Team of the Group Stage, which is the best version of his card, and also the Inform, which is, you know, one rating worse, 112K. Both of these cards did very, very well this past weekend. This Kimmich was at 280,000 coins for most of the weekend. He's dropped off because he has got into some Team of the Week predictions, but a lot of people think it's either going to be Kimmich, Sané, or Neuer, and it's between Sané, Kimmich, and Neuer between who's actually going to get into the team of the week, but since Kimmich is coming into those predictions, you do see that he is down right now. This is a card that I would watch 100% because if Sané gets in to the team of the week, obviously this card is going to go up as a link investment, and the fact that he's not getting a new team of the week card, and this Sané wants to watch card right now is inflated from where he was um, after, so he was about 120,000, 130,000 coins. He peaked at like 170 and has now come back down because he's not in too many Team of the Week predictions, um, but it is possible that he could get in. So if you have this Leroy Sané, if you're buying it because you think he's going to get in, then I guess you keep holding and you, you hold for the gamble. But that Kimmich card is one thing I wanted to talk about. And all of these cards, man, like these cards are still very, very rare. This, this Teo Hernandez fluctuates 20K every day. This De Bruyne pops up at 380 all the time. This Bruno pops up all the time. And of course, what we saw last week was because of the, the new headliner Bruno, which got a price range update today, is above 2 million coins. This card is still less than half the price of that item. And some of these other informs, 675 for the 89 Bruno Fernandez right now is crazy. 675 for this card that was 600,000 coins flat on the weekend league sell-off. 607, you can see the one that I have watched here. This guy was even like 625 today, and actually 675 on Footbin is not truth. Truthful, he is actually 660K. But this Bruno Fernandez card, whether it's the team of the group stage, the first in form, or the second in form, fluctuates a lot. I'm a huge fan of him for a Thursday flip, and you know, just in forms like this. Older in forms from the Premier League that are very meta cards, that a lot of people want to link and use in their teams right now. I, I know a lot of, of us have been using lower tier cards, cards under 250K for the past couple of weeks for Thursday flips because the market being a little bit more scared as we head into the team of the year time period. But since we have no information on team of the year as of yet, um, then we're seeing really just people are going out and they're spending coins, right? We're seeing icons that were really, really great Thursday flips this past week, right? I think of a guy like Baby Cannavaro, uh, who is an out-of-packs base icon. Baby icons this week are going to be great for Thursday flips. Uh, if, you, if you find even like a, a Baby Barnes, people buy this Baby Barnes card as an English center attacking mid. So keep an eye on a guy like this this week for sure, right? I know it's a 200,000 coin card. It's not that expensive, but you might be able to make a flip on an out-of-pack icon like that as well this week too. So we also do have to kind of consider the John Stones SBC because I know it does not seem like it's crazy good value, and I know it's not the best card ever, but when they drop any, when EA drops any English player, especially if it's an English player, in the Premier League that is well-known like John Stones, you get a reaction like this on Footbin. And this is how I can tell that a decent amount of people are doing this SBC. For number one, it's 151,000 coins. It's English. It's Premier League. A lot of people who run Premier League teams are going to slot him right into their team. There's really not a ton to do in FIFA right now unless you're finishing your icon swaps. Um, so people are bored. So sometimes when people are bored, they just go out and do SBCs anyway. And it's got 2,900 thumbs up on Footbin. Now, of course, it does have 1,900 thumbs down, but I think a lot more casual user base, of course, if you have Manchester United or Manchester City fans. Um, by the way, a big game, Man U, Man City today on Wednesday, Carabao Cup, to play against my Spurs in the final, GG. Uh, but I think a decent amount of people are going to do this SBC. And that's why, again, you can gauge the hype of an SBC based off of panic selling you see in other areas of the market. And we saw other Prem center backs get panic sold off a little bit today. You saw uh, Inform Joe Gomez go down about 20,000 coins. He has since rebounded. You saw Rule Breakers Laporte. This was a card that I was a little unsure about because so many people were looking to buy this item after it was panic sold. He went from 550,000 coins all the way back down to 500k flat. Now, right now he's back to 518, 520. Um, but 
you know, that's a car that was panic sold today. And that tells me again, that there were people that were doing this, uh, John Stone's SBC because of the panic selling we saw in other areas of the market. I mean, goodness, you even saw gold Veron. Gold Veron was like 192, 193,000 coins this morning on the PlayStation market. And right now he, well, earlier today, he might be back to 190 right now. He's one, he's 188, 187, 182. Can I get that? I cannot. Um, this guy was down at 185 earlier today. So we dropped seven, 8,000 coins on a Premier League SBC. That literally is a different card in a different league, different nationality, different league. And people were still selling their Verons because that, um, because that John Stones card was something that they wanted to do. They replaced their Varan with John Stones, which is crazy to think about. But as we're thinking about some more possible Thursday flipping investments this week, you know, a lot of the links that were, and uh, there was a lot of links that were invested in today uh, that were direct links to the new card. This Ederson was like 110,000 coins uh, and he shot up very quickly and he's still pretty high to be honest with you. He's like 127K for that nice link to the new John Stones. You saw this card go up today. You saw gold Kyle Walker go up a bunch today. I'm pretty sure Kyle Walker was like 49,000 coins or something like that. And now he's up around 60K. Uh, I would just be very careful with some of this stuff. If it's already up a lot, I'd be careful because that means there's a lot of people that are probably holding that card. Could it go higher? Yes, but I'd just be very careful with it. Now, Try to find some stuff in the game that maybe isn't a direct link that a lot of people would think about as like a, a linkage for um, for John Stones, but just other Premier League English players. Like, you know, maybe Sterling doesn't get an exact green link to John Stones, but, you know, this is a very rare item. As even though it's a left wing in the Prem, this guy fluctuates around a lot. If you see him around 180,000 coins, if there's any panic selling today on Wednesday, when we see this, whatever supposed content drop, you might even see selling leading up into 6 p.m. UK today for to buy your Thursday flips. I would wait until after though. If we see no content, then you're probably gonna go out, wanna go out and splash the cash unless EA drops a delayed loading screen. Um, but just kind of think about some of those Premier League links at the back line, right? You know, this Vardy card is a card that literally fluctuates all the time, every single week. He's 450,000 coins right now. If he goes down to 420 or 430, that's an easy buy because he's going to rebound. This cool Bali is like incredibly rare and Milinkovic Savage coming into the game and possibly some Serie A informs in this week's team of the week is making him rise. Uh, so for honestly, boys, when we're looking through what kind of stuff you can buy this week for Thursday flipping rewards, it's kind of just the normal stuff. We're really just looking at some of the normal things like this Zaha right now at 201. This guy's low. Look at every week for Zaha, man. 207 up to 224 and back down to the 200s again this week, right? There's a lot of cards that have movements just like that every single week. Go through, look through some of these team of the weeks. This Rafinha, Brazil, right mid, Premier League. Once again, check this out, right? 103 to 120, back down to 108 to 122. What did he go back down to this week? You know, he's 114 right now. That's not too terrible of a price. This Benjamin Men or yeah, Benjamin Mendy is already up, of course, because of the new John Stones. Um, but, you know, and again, like we talked about with Neuer, his inform is was 190K this weekend. He's still chilling around 174. Just keep an eye on that. If he does or does not get an inform, um, just keep an eye on some of the stuff that, uh, you know, moves around every single week like this Bruno Fernandez we talked about you find players like this who have graphs that you can tell fluctuate each and every week and you're like okay that's a card that I want to get interested in for a flip this week let me show you one last card I even talked about this guy last week I talked about this card last week he is from team of the week uh I don't even remember which team of the week Timo Werner the burner is from team of the week four there he is He's 242,000 coins right now. I flipped this guy last week from 230s into the 250s, 260s. Look at the last three weeks. 240 to 270. 239 to 265. 238 again to 256. Now, it seems like he's rising a little bit less every single week, but he almost drops further every single week. So if you see this Timo Werner today in the low 220s, in the 230s, that could be a possible situation for you as well. Even on Xbox, look, 209. 236. So just keep an eye out for some of these meta popular cards that get team of the weeks 
uh, that move around every single week that have fluctuations. Um, and of course, keep in mind that a lot of people have, uh, a lot of people will be packing in the new team of the week card. So of course, if you see a guy like, um, like Tierney, now I think this Partey, like Partey is already up a decent amount this week. If so, for some reason, if Tierney would not get a team of the week today, you might want to look at this Partey card and be like, okay, He's inflated a lot because of Tierney supposedly getting an inform. But since Tierney didn't get an inform, some people are going to sell this card off, which then all of your investors go away, and then you have uh, a price that has dropped and no, you know, saved up supply, nobody to compete with for investing in this card. And you might see a nice rise uh, for a normal weekend league rise, if that makes sense. Why that could happen? So. There's kind of a decent amount to consider this week. It's been a nice rise already for the market. That's why I'm thinking that, hey, I'm going to wait today and take my chances and see what exactly EA does do with the game today um, or with, you know, content wise and see if they throw something up content wise that is um, that is pretty spicy. That would drain a lot of coins off the market and something like that. That would be something I would want to take um, take a glance at. Like we have talked about in the past weeks, I've looked at like Jota, I've looked at Pepe. You know, some of the lower tier cards. I'm not gonna say this week that you have to stick to a lower range, um, but it seems like those cards do pretty solid on the weekly anyway. This Jota keeps bouncing around. Uh, the Nicolas Pepe right wing Arsenal card. Um, in the tournament there it is i think he's about fifty-five thousand coins maybe a little bit more than that so if you find these guys they're so cheap that if you find them at three four five k undercuts i mean you're already making profit and that's uh part of a thursday flipping situation itself so keep an eye out um maybe if we get another sbc player today that could be a thing and then of course as we always say with selling our thursday flips when you look to sell these cards um you're probably looking to sell them not thursday before 6 p.m unless you feel like a big loading screen is coming, but I feel like we're just getting week two of, of headliners. And I don't think anything big on Thursday is gonna be that crazy. So we'll look to be a sell time of Thursday night into Friday morning before we see more panic selling into headliner set two uh, for the promo that will come on Friday. But that's always when the market is highest, literally never fails almost every single week, unless there's some, some sort of absurd panic. Uh, it's literally Friday morning, you know, uh, early hours UK, late night NA is when stuff just gets really rare, stuff gets high, and people start buying cards for their weekend leagues to start on Friday. So just keep an eye out for that sort of stuff. And that's kind of like your best sell time for a lot of these items uh, as you're looking for your Thursday flip investments this week. If you have any questions about specific cards, drop them down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.